soy de Cali, Colombia. Mi, mi trabajo aquí en la universidad se llama Janitu. Yo vine a los Estados Unidos en el año de 1998, pero yo empecé a trabajar en la universidad en el año 2000. Eh, las responsabilidades que he tenido cuando he trabajado en los dormitorios es atender los dormitorios, los baños, la basura, eh, los salones de clase y limpiar la casa de Valle, toda la casa completa. Pero aquí en el restaurante tengo otras responsabilidades. Eh, yo vine a los Estados Unidos porque en los años 90 mi país había mucha violencia por el narcotráfico y en el sitio donde yo trabajaba no no tenía muy buen salario y lo vi como una oportunidad para poder ayudar a mis hijos para que fueran a la universidad. A ver, la parte más difícil del trabajo es la lucha con las compañías de limpieza, es la lucha con las compañías de limpieza que nunca valoran el trabajo que hacemos los inmigrantes aquí. A mí me parece esa la parte dura del trabajo porque los otros trabajos uno lo hace con gusto y lo hace con responsabilidad. Okay. The current company is uh, Sun Services. So the deal with that is that they are subcontracted by the university to um, employ people to clean campus. Um, the company previous to that was called ABM. Um, so pretty much how it works is that once ABM's contract was done, um, all the workers were transferred to this new company, which is Sun Services, which pretty much rehired them. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, there have been a lot of problems. And what's up with the colors? I just came from Holly. <laughs> when Sun won the contract bid at Wesleyan, they had just recently also won a bunch of other bids at other unionized locations. And before that point, in 2012, they really had only worked at non-unionized sites. One of the things they said they were going to do was uh, make sure that there was a communication between the management and the workers, uh, which in reality didn't happen. Every time a worker complained about a uh, workload or did something wrong, um, they would be reprimanded by their managers. Managers from Sun have told me um, this is by far the most difficult group of workers we've ever had to deal with. I don't understand what what they think, what their problem is, you know, stuff like that. And that's because workforces that they were with before had never felt safe enough to assert themselves in any way. The number of workers had gone from 60 to 50. So that was a huge reduction of 10 people and many of them were let go of and under the excuse that, oh, you have to retire, like you can't do this work anymore, retire, and then their workloads were just given to the remaining 50. I have a relationship with the students, I have a relationship with the students because they have helped us a lot in the fight that we have had for respect to our rights here at the university as workers. We have a group of students called USLAC, que nos han apoyado demasiado, ellos hacen foros, hacen reuniones, hacen campañas para ayudar a nosotros los trabajadores. So USLAC stands for the United Labor Action Coalition and it's a group of students on campus that try to advocate for um, workers' rights on campus. USLAC organized another event where the students walked up to USLAC and they started giving out flyers about, you know, don't be wasteful, like, you know, be aware that your trash is going to be cleaned by a custodian and they already overworked. You know, if you talk to Joyce Topshi over in Physical Plant, she'll go on about how much students make a mess and how disrespectful it is, and she's totally right. We have problems, like all the companies, and like all the part administrative and everything, but I hope, and I have a lot of faith, that all these problems will be resolved. I don't know, that it will be an environment of respect and